guy's going hard. shopping at the mall today maybe grab some vegan food and uh, I want to show you guys the amazing selection of fruits and vegetables that they have over there it's absolutely insane and also um, yeah this is my room the view from my room super cheap this is about three hundred sixty nine dollars per month and really pretty much as cheap as it gets for a studio and um, I always like to get a nice view so check out this view the city and I'm currently in Laurelis, which is um, not the absolute nicest area in Medellin, but to me, honestly, it's, it's fine. It's in a safe hotel. Um, there's a guard 24-7. And I'm gonna walk to this place called Unicentro, where they basically have everything you could, you could ask for. Food, uh, it's like a mall. It's a massive mall, and you can exchange money um, there's an awesome supermarket, amazing fruits and vegetables, and uh, yeah, I'm going to take you guys on a tour through Unicentra State. The last few nights have been absolutely insane. Met up with some crypto guys that I've been talking on Twitter spaces with for a few years, and uh, talked about Sado, we talked about Bitcoin, we went to a crypto cafe, um, we had some awesome times. We, the nightlife is absolutely insane right now. Uh, people from Venezuela, the U.S., everybody's here. Um, if you're not here, I really feel bad for you at this point. But um, I'm going to take you guys as much through Colombia as I possibly can and give you guys the rundown on why you should be here. Um, first of all, the health scene is absolutely nuts. Um, trying to get some the, the same amount of health uh, that you can get here in Colombia in the U.S. is practically impossible because the abundance of fruits and vegetables here is something that's really hard to find. I mean, Peru and Ecuador also have a ton of fruits and vegetables, but on, um, on a level up here that is just uncomparable, because we're in the valley of Medellin and everything grows here. I mean, literally you can get any type of juice you want. I brought a juicer with me, but um, I don't even know if I need it because like I said, I could find any type of juice here. Today I'm looking for some grape juice, and I'm going to show you guys everything right now. Bless. So this is my spot, humble little abode. I'm just going to get this elevator straight downstairs. And you can see, this is Laureles Medellin. Let's go ground floor. Let me take you guys to the sickest mall. It's called Unicentro. And you guys should have seen last night in Poblado, which is like the main tourist town. It was absolutely crazy. And uh, I should have got it on video, but I did actually take some video on my phone. The cerveza. Alright, right, guys, we're pulling up to Unicentro. This mall is pretty awesome.
some gelato. Everything is really nice here. You'd be surprised about Colombia, really. A lot of people don't know how built up this, this city really is in Medellin. And, um, and this is also not even the best neighborhood. So I take you guys to the more touristy neighborhoods. There is a ton of innovation here. Also, it has the most Bitcoin ATMs in the world. Got some mango juice stations right here. Everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy because I got a video camera. I'm gonna go right to this supermarket. Ice cream station right here. Shoes. Then you got all these little mall carts. Take you guys to the real deal fruit section. You've never seen anything like this in the US, I'll tell you that. Here we go. They have ready to go juices. A little juice station where you can literally get any type of juice you want. And cheap too. Look at this selection of fruits. Mini bananas, papaya, guanabana, watermelon, cantaloupe, cocoa, watermelon. And then here's here comes your juices right here. Orange juice, fresh and ready to go. Mandarin juice. Big selection of fruits here. Some strange looking apples. This is cactus fruit. And then here comes the amazing grape juice. Here you have some guava, passion fruit. These are like tomatillos, dragon fruit, the yellow one. And look, you got all this ready-made fruit too. Papaya, cocoa, lime juice, mandarin juice, guava juice, orange juice and pineapple juice. Here you got some ginger with cucumber juice and um, you got strawberry banana. I mean, come on, dude. 3,950 uh, pesos, which is less than a dollar. It's about a dollar. Look at this amazing orange juice, all different kinds. My favorite is the grape juice, I have to admit. But I might go I might get some more of this cucumber juice too. And you have uh, cocoa juice. Boom, so I just went with the cucumber. Cucumber, ginger, lime, and rosemary. And the grape juice. Basically sticking to just the juice diet for right now because there's so much selection here. And we're gonna pay for this right now. All right, guys, got my grape juice. Time to start the day. This was about 8,000 pesos, so $2 for these two juices. And in the US, it's like extremely hard to find pure grape juice like this. And um, super expensive if you do. So I'm grateful. And um, yeah, it's super cheap to live here if if you're drinking just juice, I mean, really, the cost of living is basically zero. Maybe five, ten dollars per day tops. I'm gonna sit right here for a minute. Super casual. All right, so that was the most amazing grape juice ever. Now, I got the pineapple, spinach, 
um, what is it called? Pineapple, spinach, parsley, cucumber, ginger combination right here. This one is about to take me to the top. And yeah, I mean, you just can't get better juice. Like, that grape juice was insane. That's my coffee. You know, I don't drink coffee. This is like what wakes me up. And now I'm trying to see if there's a gym in this place. Because I think there might be. So I was just told that there is a gym in here. That's how big this place is. Didn't even know. And I might see how much it is to sign up. Check it out right now. I'll show you guys what's going on. By the way, if you want to exchange US dollars, you can come here. And they give you a pretty good deal. 3,800 pesos for one dollar. So pretty good exchange rate that's why this place is the top place to come in South America you're getting almost four times the purchasing power of your dot one dollar amigo smart fit don't they ask okay okay gracias Little workstation. Western Union. Um, how's this workstation? Watching soccer on the phone. Oh, let me show you guys the view over here. This place is crazy. We ate here yesterday. It's called Parmigiano. Parmigiano. I don't think I can go in there right now, but you guys see how luxury it is over here for a supposedly a third world country. But I gotta go upstairs. I'm gonna find. Oh, there's the gym. All right, take you guys to the gym. Está bien para subir. Ah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yes, there's El Gym, no? El Gym. Perfecto. Eso es lo que busco. You got the gym right there, and then you got girl making protein shakes right here. Pretty convenient. Look, there's a casino. I didn't even know that there was a casino here. Wow. Looks like there's two casinos right across from each other. Elite class and Broadway Casino. Wow. In the mall, guys. I mean, that's awesome. More workstations. Looks like there's some type of waffle place here. This juice is absolutely rocking. My goal here is basically to keep the camera rolling no matter what. But, you know, it's not always the easiest when everybody's looking at you 24-7. So, trying my best. I'm trying to give you guys the inside scoop.
just so much more chill than the U.S., you know, people, people hanging out all over, getting work done, people come to the mall to really, really enjoy over here, and might be even better than an American mall in a lot of ways. So I'm getting to the exit here, step back into the wild. Beautiful day, absolutely perfect. So that is the Unicentro Mall, guys. You can literally find anything you want. If you're an American citizen or foreigner, that's the place where you want to go to basically exchange your exchange your currency and then you know get some amazing fruits that you really can't get anywhere else. Do some really cheap shopping for food. Um, get your shampoo, toothpaste, toothbrush, literally anything. If you want to get some souvenirs for some family members, soccer jerseys, and yeah, just awesome food, good environment, good vibes. This is Laurelis, Medellin. Not really the most touristy place uh, because most people go to Poblado, which is like it's a lot of prostitution and stuff in Poblado, and this is more the real Medellin right here. This is the raw Medellin. You're not gonna see too many, too, too many far, uh, extra. You're not gonna see too many foreigners in this area. This is like real Medellin. Dale. This is a dangerous part right here. You could get robbed around here. If you're thinking about coming out to Medellin, definitely do it because your purchasing power is going to be so much more be able to have live like a king basically for a short amount of time if, even if you have a few thousand dollars women are incredibly beautiful super lovely now uber is actually illegal in this country right now so even though you're, you're riding Uber, you gotta kinda keep it discreet. And uh, even though it's much safer because, you know, the person has a rating and they actually have something to lose if they, if they do something bad to you. Unlike the yellow taxis, which no one will ever know if they, you know, rob you or abduct you. So I would say Uber is the safest, but I also use the yellow taxis. Just kinda try to find an older gentleman and ride with him as opposed to riding with a young a young dude who might be make some stupid decisions and try to rob you or steal something from you or take you to a place that you don't really want to go to um, so yeah I would say use uber and there's another app called indriver I would use that just get into my hotel it's about a Two block walk. This hotel is pretty secure. You need to actually need to do a few things just to open the door, which is good. This is a pretty dangerous neighborhood. So. Security is super important. Boom, lock that. Head right up the elevator. So that is Loreles Medellin. And I'm gonna try to bring you guys some amazing content. I might show you guys the nightlife right here in Poblado. And what we did last night was incredible. Really wanna take you guys on the full Medellin tour.
and uh, I'm super excited. I love this city. I just feel great being here, getting healthier every day. Stoked, appreciate it. If you guys like this video, smash the like button, subscribe. You know the drill. Get some fruit juice. Get some amazing fruit that you cannot find in the U.S. And get healthier every day here in Colombia. A lot of people don't know this is the place to be.